Hey traders, I'm Delgado here, Max as commentator at Global Prime Forex. I hope that this analysis, the one that I'm going to be delivering every single week, you find it personable, you find it uh, objective, and most importantly, you can make it also actionable for you and solidify what might be existing views that you're holding in sets and currencies. So without further ado, let's look first at the Euro index. My opinion in the Euro index for the coming week is that there is a good case to be made for buyers to show up in dips. Now we've already seen the dip during Monday. It was a rather um, deep one. And uh, right here around these levels, I believe that this should be a pretty good, decent level to start considering deep buy side opportunities. Now, this is not advice in any way, shape or form. I'm just reading at the chart and then communicating, passing on a message based on structure, momentum and volatility. Now, on top of that, price action can also help us. This is what's commonly known as a bullish uh, engulfing, bullish outside candle that was printed last week notice that the steady downward momentum that had been really really uh the main theme in the euro for the majority of 2021 got truncated out of uh, that very commanding candle now even if we had that candle we still had to content ourselves with this very crucial level of resistance and uh, the final blow for sellers was the fact that we had this candle with a close very decisively above this resistance and to me that communicates that now again that case can be made for buyers to show up on weakness remember that the smt is also a very helpful indicator that i'm using as a proprietary indicator that tells us when momentum is starting to fault uh, to falter and right here you can see that those were early signs and now that has been confirmed by that close right here so in my opinion now this uh, price action that we saw last week solidifies the shift of trend as the euro achieved as i said this close above a major structural resistance area and it did so with a close on the upper 90 percentile which essentially translates in really really robust buy side pressure as sellers uh, you know just essentially gave up and so with the structure in favor with the momentum also in favor the prospects to encounter solid deep buying this week are definitely there and we're starting to see already that this candle on monday is finding a good amount of buy side pressure on this loss okay so that's my view on the euro let's now move into the chf so the chf in my opinion is in a range mode and uh, it's always helpful that we squeeze out the chart because the moment that we go into the squeezing phase of the chart and we go far enough you can probably understand why the Swissy bounced from the levels that it did not only it aligned with the late 2019 swing low as we can see right here that's exactly the same level that we were bouncing from a few weeks ago but it also coincided with a symmetrical projection target in this case the 200 percent projection from the block or the bracketed area that was broken earlier this year i'm talking about this block right here if we duplicate this area that would come at that line and if we once again extend that area another 100 percent projection that is the price level that we saw buyers emerging now not surprising the eruption of demand from the lows has encountered sticky resistance at the previously penetrated 100 percent projection target right here that was what's what acting as resistance for a number of weeks so in my opinion this is reaffirming the relevance of this level as a key inflection point in the chart ever since it got touched we have been struggling and to me unless we are breaking outside of this current tiny box we are not gonna get enough clarity as to what way the swiss franc will end up moving until that happens this is not a market offering a clear technical read to capitalize on in 
my bill. So that's where we stand in the Swiss franc. Now, when it comes to the US dollar index, in my opinion, this still shows signs written all over the wall that we are in a strong bearish phase. And that is predicated on the basis that last week marked yet again another blow for the interest of sellers as the price closed below a critical level of support. Notice that arguably one of the strongest levels that we had to deal with for both buyers and sellers was this one that I'm marking with the painting tool right here, right here. And what do you see through this candle? We did break and close with that close being pretty much at the lowest of last week's uh, transaction. And whatever, whenever that is the case, that is a very strong testament of intent by those that have been in this case, uh, you know, the strongholders and uh, making good handsome profits out of this movement that has gone on for three weeks in a row and uh, yeah it has uh, history also backing this uh, prospects of feather downward pressure and the reason being is because every single time that this level got touched it got repelled and whenever we've seen a recovery above this level the level got rejected so a close uh, uh, below this level should definitely see interest to reject once again as this level acts as a magnet to uh, repel prices and attract prices so in this case what this suggests to me is that unless the level is retaken on a weekly closing basis the path of this resistance still appears to be clearly skewed towards a retest of this year's low in the US dollar and uh, that's backed by momentum and also structure. So there you have it, JPY index. Now, not much to read in this chart unless we can break this consolidation phase that has been going on for about two months now. We are required to find a resolution outside this box before clarity is regained. Now, judging by what's been unambiguously the strongest trend this year, the odds, in my opinion, continue to be stacked for a break lower in line with such a steady pattern of yen depreciation this year. Also, it is worth noting that as I reiterated many times, the previous 100% projection target first tested and rejected is now acting as a backside resistance after being broken in late February and let me show you what I mean so you will notice that here we had a well-defined box or bracketed area and as we duplicate that 100% that is first an area that got tested and rejected and once we saw a resolution below through this candle this is now acting as that backside resistance okay so once again do not ever take for granted or underestimate the power of these lines to be acting as key structural points where we're going to be you know seeing this um, stacking of uh, orders by market makers and by those savvy participants that have come to you know get proper reads of the charts and how market dynamics work all right so gbp gb index in my opinion has encountered a strong a strong hole by by sellers and uh, that is depicted by price action very clearly so let me walk you through my reads here in my opinion uh, the the odds right now are for the near term path to be skewed towards the downside uh, that is clearly an increasing prospect that will happen and as i said this is predicated on the basis that not only a major resistance line uh, got tested with a resounding failure uh, at, as this uh, sell side pressure started to emanate notice here that we had that resistance but that second test has also failed now whenever we have this kind of pattern this is definitely going to be a major red flag that feather downward pressure towards the next area of support is likely now where do i perceive the next area of support well 
notice all these closes aligning with this high right there so in my opinion and also how we struggle in that candle before that breakout that led to that momentum build up uh, once again well in my opinion that area can now be uh, tested and that would allow for about a one percent deterioration or thereabouts in the gbp okay so that's my view on the sterling next one is the canadian dollar so the canadian dollar in my opinion has now activated a, another you know there's a buy side campaign on the way once again in the Canadian dollar index and that definitely opens the doors for a resumption of this trend into this previous uh, line of resistance on a closing basis so let me walk you through my read in this chart in particular uh, what really stands out to me is the absorption that we saw uh, last week this is what I consider to be a heavy buy side absorption and uh, that tends to be a precursor of what might ultimately be a, as I said, resumption of the uptrend as long as the previous uh, week's highs get taken out and that's exactly what's already happened within the first 24 hours of Monday this week. And as that's happening to me, that is resetting uh, and uh, putting in motion once again uh, higher targets for the Canadian dollar. Remember that this is being, uh, I would say, one of the, if not the market with the strongest momentum. You could argue that the US was also uh, showing great momentum, but that has been definitely petering out for the last few weeks. So the uh, the Canadian dollar definitely is one of those markets that you want to be watching closely. And also, no surprising that uh, as we study the chart notice that here we had for months and months this bracketed area the 100 percent projection was uh, blown through with ease i'd say but that 200 percent projection notice right there that has been the symmetrical the symmetrical target where buyers struggle notice all the absorption through this uh, week and the next scandal open right at that line that tells us that this there was an insurmountable uh, pressure by sellers through you know the, the cluster of sell side limits right there in uh, all Canadian related pairs and that led to ultimately a deep pullback that was very very strongly absorbed and in my opinion this now has uh, is sending us strong signs that the uptrend is resuming in the Canadian dollar. Now, I've got only two charts left to go through. Aussie. To me, the Aussie is getting closer. It's actually creeping higher and edging towards what might potentially uh, represent a range breakout. Now, for that to happen, obviously, we need to see a close above this red line so the jury is still out there if that's going to happen and how long it will take but in my opinion knowing that we're getting that weakness in the US dollar the Japanese yen just simply consolidating around the lows and most importantly uh, looking back we notice that the Aussie has been on a very very steady uptrend so the fact that we are getting that acceptance just around the trend highs to me is a great uh, telling sign and a great testament that uh, this acceptance suggests that the risks are building up for an eventual break into high ground otherwise you would have seen that you know more uh, or deeper setbacks would have occurred and that was not the case so should this occur and we have a break with a structure uh, now regaining its uh, momentum as well to the worst the upside and uh, the close occurring beyond this line uh, in my opinion this would lead to initially an appreciation of the Aussie to the tune of one percent more or less so that would be my expectation and that is uh, worked out by extending this uh, bracketed area 100 percent into that next measured movement all right now last but not least is going to be the new zealand dollar the one that we are going to be looking and in my opinion uh, it is almost a guarantee that the new zealand index is going to be testing this resistance that's where the next 
uh, obstacle is uh, meant to be and uh, yeah that's going to be the next stack of war between buyers and sellers and uh, yeah in light of uh, this structure and the momentum that keeps carrying the query higher well reflected by the smt i just simply cannot see how sellers can exert that much pressure to prevent an extension into higher ground in my personal opinion i think is a matter of time until we break accept and keep extending higher in the new zealand aiming for this preview high now for that to happen first we need to see that the candle is going to be closing above this line of resistance okay so this view again uh, is reinforced by the failure to break any structural point in this rejection that we had noticed that we did have indeed one week worth of uh, big sell side pressure but that actually failed to break this previous well-defined well-established support so that to me reinforces the notion that in the absence of any structural pivot point that got broken uh, there should be uh, relatively uh, limited sell side pressure that would be challenging the, what it's been a very very strong trend uh, for you know ever since the COVID-19 bottom last March okay so there you have it this is my view as it relates to the uh, forex indices uh, I believe that this can be uh, this can be some great insights for you guys to solidify your views to reinforce certain um, directional biases that you have already built if this is of interest remember that I will be delivering these reports once a week leave your comments below if you have an interest in a specific pair that I can you know cover in more detail I will do so also through the chat room and so if you enjoying and you find value in this comment remember i encourage you to smash the like button leave those comments and uh, visit me i will be available in the discord room at global prime cheers